Hey guys, Mark Jepson here. Just wanted to give you another tool update, something we've recently added to the finances tab, which is the profit and loss analysis. Um, here you have an option to see all of your profit and loss over either monthly, weekly, yearly trends, so you can actually see how you're doing over time. So uh, inside of your finances tab, you're gonna see it here, profit and loss, and it gives you a very simple breakdown. So let's just cover these buttons up here really quick. The first one is date order, it's the default view. It's basically gonna show you, of course, months, month to month or week to week in date order. Pretty simple, it's what everyone's used to. But you can also, if you want to analyze which months are maybe getting you the most profit, which ones months have the most orders or refunds, etc., you can sort it by that as well, okay? Uh, the next one is just gonna be how you wanna see it, either weekly, monthly, yearly, or quarterly. And then of course you can do some intervals in here as well. You can export it as a CSV, and if you wanna make sure the numbers are up to date, you can click refresh and it'll update your numbers. But it does that each time you click into it, all right? So just give you a quick walkthrough of this. What you're gonna see here is little drop downs next to several of these categories here. And this kind of mirrors what you're gonna see on the breakdowns tab where you have all of the details about your orders. So here you can see at the top number, uh, well, let's, that's the aggregate here, but let's take November as an example. 29,000, your actual product revenue, 44,000, but then you take out promo rebates, Amazon fees, uh, you have a, a plus charge or, or adding to your amount of 900 for other amounts that Amazon adds on to your orders. And then of course we give you your quantity. So this number is gonna be basically showing the aggregate of all of this data. And now you can actually see, okay, that's how much your orders were revenue wise. Okay, after everything's being taken out. And then you can of course do the same thing for your refunds, uh, see how that break down, how that breaks down, where that stuff is coming from, and then see those details if you need to. Same thing with other, there's of course a whole bunch of uh, hidden fees or other fees that Amazon doesn't quite make so uh, easy to find, uh, but we lay that all out for you so you can see uh, other adjustments, FBM shipping fees, Amazon service fees, etc., etc. And we also have your Amazon ads in here. So depending on how you like to do it, if you have it coming out of your bank account or, or credit card, uh, or if you have it coming out of your profit, whichever way you're gonna uh, be doing that for your account, which we're gonna show you in, in one of two areas. It's either gonna be in here, Amazon Ad Payments, or it'll be in your costs over here, where you'll see it coming out over here. So depending on how you have it set up, it'll be in one of these two areas, okay? Um, but that gives you all the details for other, and then of course, your cost of goods, inbound shipping costs, sales tax, etc. Additional expenses, if you have those being entered in, and then of course your ads and uh, we have a little breakdown here for your your amazon ads and then and the payments that you're doing and you can see on this particular account it's coming out of uh, this method right here okay so pretty self-explanatory and then of course at the end of the day you have your gross profit your profit percent and roi so this gives you just a very easy picture, uh, a way to see how your, your profit and loss is doing over time, whether it's on a monthly, weekly, or yearly basis. I hope you find this useful in analyzing your business and making it easier and faster to know what's happening with your business so you can expand. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.